All right, the D's flashing in the element again. I'm sure a lot of you will have this problem. It happens in CRVs and pilots. Pretty much any older Honda is going to have this happen at some point. Um, I'm going to show you how to get the transmission fault codes out of this thing without having any sort of scan tool. You can um, use a piece of wire or a paper clip. You match two pins in the OBD port and um, it, it'll flash the codes on here for you. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll give you some nice detailed pictures so you don't want to get confused and put your paper clip in the wrong spot. That can cause a lot of problems. I'll um I'll put a I'll put the list of code definitions in the description so that'll help you get started on whatever the problem is. So uh I'll get uh Yeah, and stuff. Okay, first thing you wanna do is get a piece of wire. Um it can be it just needs to be rigid. It can be a paper clip or something similar. This is what I'm using. It's just it's just a piece of wire. So we're gonna go down in here. Um, you're gonna want to look by your right foot or where it would be anyway. So there's your OBD port, and what we're doing is going between pins number four and number nine. Now, I know it's a little blurry, but I'll put a nice detailed picture up and you can see which which ones it is. Now, before you insert this, you want to make sure that you're make sure that you don't have the keys in the ignition. This is a kind of a multi-step process, so we'll put that in there and then we're going to turn the ignition on and that's when it'll flash the code. So, let me give you a picture here and then uh we'll go from there. Okay, the wire's in place. There you go. Has to be a looped piece of wire because you're, you're connecting those two ports. Let's... You want to go key on, but not engine on. Just to the on position. And we should get a, a light flash in here. There you go. Now what this is, is long pulses indicate the number 10, and then the short ones are just one. So let's count what we have here. It'll cycle over and over. So we got 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's code 26. We'll reference that to the uh, information I'm going to give you in the description below, and we'll go from there. I believe in this case that's the third clutch pressure solenoid, but that's just my specific instance. I guess I'll fix that in another video. But yeah, that's how you do it. Back off. Be sure to pull your wire out before you go trying to drive around or anything like that. Um, it, it, it's pretty basic information it gives you. It'll just let you know which system in the transmission it is faulting it's most of the sensors or, or solenoids on this transmission are external so it is fairly easy to work on yeah there you go that'll get you started